Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Oh, shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Damn. Are these all firefighters? Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man. Jackpot. John Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Is this Drew's room? Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? 
I wonder how he's doing. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Now, Drew's hurt, of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs, so got plenty of time to visit. You know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> Just, uh... Trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by... Demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I want to eat that right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. Damn, Drew looks really low. I wonder if Drew will ever play again.
Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep, definitely too many concussions. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. <laughs> I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kinda tired. Oh, uh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. That'll be an interesting read. Pretty sure that's Drew's backpack. Should have done that earlier, I guess. But now? Drew and I are square. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Good thing we're in a hospital, because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. <laughs> you don't scare me, Chloe Price. Know what's scary? The shit they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat this pudding and there's nothing you can do about it. Is that what your coach would want? You don't want to lose your edge, you know. You're getting a little soft. And by soft, I mean fat. If you loved pudding as much as I do, you might understand. Let's duel for it. Come on, you and me, you have thumb wrestling. Best two out of three. Best two out of three? <laughs> Sounds like something a loser would say. You really should give me that pudding. 
Do you want to be known as a bully forever? You don't know when to quit, do you? Okay. I give in. We can share it. Now that is an interesting idea. Oh, man. That's really good. Really, really good. You're a monster. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm. Something encouraging. But not too encouraging. There you go. Thanks a lot. Anytime. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Next time, maybe I'll share. Maybe. Next time. Sure. Oh, and Chloe? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. More like silent hospitals slowly drive friends and family insane. Hey, just heard the fire went out. Went out? You mean it's controlled? Those guys no, look exhausted. It's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Unless you get stabbed. Everything about this fire is Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized this. Rachel's waiting for me. Shouldn't stay here too long. Hey. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter.
I don't know about that. You saved her, didn't you? When everything happened, I just... I froze up. That you were there for her when she needed you. That's what matters. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by me. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious... <gasps> I really regret overhearing that. Nothing but you. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Figured you would. I 
I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... uh... It, it's nice. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of... <laughs> happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah, it was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Ah. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe.
Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. <laughs> 